Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum. What it do, what it do, what it do. This is the one and only. The one and only. As a car bringing you flame. You already know. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell. When you be left in the loop every time your boy dropped the work, you feel me? Shout out to the black YouTube out there. Big Brother Ticket TV, Carcino, Kwame Brown, The League Attorney, JR Wisdom, Mr. Palmer, Too Raw for Sports, Too Raw for TV, Kicking with Mr. Moss, LC Predator Catch, JD Black, Tariq Nasheed, Dr. Umar Johnson, ISU PK, NOI, Holding It Down, Mr. Farrakhan, been holding it down. Corey Holcomb, holding it down. The Professor of Truth, holding it down. Black Biden, holding that thing down. The Black YouTube, the Black YouTube is bringing the flame consistently, getting it out the mud, organic, straight to your device. Once again, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Now, it comes to a certain point in your life when you... Were you old enough to realize, man, I ain't, I ain't got time for this bullshit no more. I ain't got time to be doing no dumb shit. But apparently, it's people in America just, just don't give a crap or give a hoot about what they doing, man. Especially these privileged, uh, so-called GGs and parents today. Now, I'm not the best. I'm not the best in the world. Hell no. I stay in a one-bedroom apartment trying to make it day to day, and it's hard as hell out here. Will my son stand with me? It's hard out here, man. It's hard. It, it, ain't, it ain't easy out here. What the fuck so ever. It's hard. But you got to have some stability and some type of peace somewhere, some type of structure. And I don't see that in the black community, man. I don't, man. I'm seeing it with the parenting. Kids running around here cussing and can on. Ain't nobody being corrected. And you know, it's hard for bystanders to try to correct people's children because people, the parents get offended. Like they prohibiting the, the, the behavior. You know what I'm saying? So that's what equal them blue lights. You know, shit like that. Telling the child no that it's not having been used to been heard no. Oh man, child go crazy, man. But if he had some structure, he would understand and know how to cherish his money and all that. But with all that being said, not to go on a little tangent, but the parenting, the parenting skills of of, of twenty twenty four has been at a, a a messed up rate. I mean, an alarming rate. So many calls for the police going to check out uh, unattended children in cars that's locked and unlocked. And it's crazy, man. And we got another one. We got another bangle. And I'm going to bring it to your device. So I appreciate you taking your time out on Musa Asgard TV. It's about 319. I think I can get about three more videos on uh, before I go to the plantation. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get this thing popping. I'm going to ask our TV. We'll be uh, right back. Consider it as what well. y'all don't even want to hear the truth. Y'all don't want to hear nothing about y'all self at all. Yeah. At all. You just want to, you just feel like, oh, I'm the provider. I wear the pants. So it doesn't even matter. You're not even open to nothing. It's like, in order for you to be a good leader, you have to be open to hearing your surroundings so that you know that the way that you're leading is being one receptive. I'm receiving it, or the people around you are receiving it. Or that... So the fact that he doesn't listen to you, he's not, he, that's a bad deal. <laughs> Yeah, it's a big pain because it's, it's like even if you don't, even if you're not gonna listen, if you're not gonna take my advice, that's one thing. But at least just listen to me. Like, has your advice work for yourself? Yes. In what aspect? Financially. Financially. Bullshit. That's why I was.
we don't listen to y'all motherfuckers. Because when it comes time down, women want men to rectify all their mistakes. Your credit score is a 326. I'm supposed to get it to a 700. But you want me to listen to you about finances. You're goddamn six months late on your motherfucking car payment. They repo your car and I'm supposed to get it out the fucking shop. And I'm supposed to listen to you about motherfucking finances. Oh, you, you, you got a goddamn charge pending. And you need me to keep, put $1,500 on your lawyer. Because your ass got an anger management problem. But you want me to listen to you about emotion. That's why we don't listen to y'all. Because when y'all listen to y'all, y'all be fucked up. And you expect us to fix it. Yeah, that bullshit. That shit ain't working for you. You can keep your advice to your motherfucking self. <laughs> We really should stop this fighting. Otherwise, we'll miss the fireworks. There won't be any fireworks. And here we go. You're no good. You're no good all over. Man, these motherfuckers ain't no good, cuz. And hey, you too old for this shit. You too old for this shit, man. This this is oh my god, nigga. The fuck, nigga. Sandy McClain. Now y'all know she look hard, don't she? She look hard, the motherfucker, don't she? Boy, like she pissed off. She be pissed off by that goddamn hairdo. Goddamn. And this is the fucked up part about it right here, though. Check this out. Sandy McClain leaves children unattended in Walmart parking lot while getting her hair done. You you call that shit done? Man, she should cut that shit off and go ball, nigga. The fuck? But man, she 59 years old, man. Was caught leaving her grandchildren unattended in the back of a blue Chevy Trax at Walmart Park a lot in Fort Campbell Boulevard on July the 29th. Mm, mm, mm. When officers arrived, they were informed that McLean had left the vehicle unlocked with the windows down, the engine off, while the children were inside. No good, boy. I'm telling you, boy, they ain't no good. Now, shortly after receiving the information, Officers observed McLean coming out of Walmart and approaching her car. Now, McLean, she said she had only left her, her vehicle briefly to go to the bathroom. Now, they know they got cameras all up in Walmart, dumb motherfucker. She, she knew she was caught when she lied. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. And the security foot, uh, footage uh, contradicted her statement, showing McCain and her boyfriend and her 11-year-old grandson entering the store at 315. And the footage showed McCain entering the hair salon while her boyfriend and 11-year-old went to different parts of the store. And she left that motherfucker at 14. Talking about she went to go use the restroom, but she must have had a big-ass shit. A big-ass piss. See, what I'm talking about, man. She's 59 years old, man. Boy, sister, you need your ass whooped. But there's trifling motherfuckers out there like that, boy. Trifling, man. I'm talking about, God damn it, for real, though. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's hard. That's a hard hit. But this is your boy Moosa, man. Do me a favor, man. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments. Let me know. If she's in the right for going to get her hair done in the line, or if she need to charge a super motherfucker as soon as she get out of jail, though. Because she locked up in that motherfucker. <laughs> they got her on bail. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, Sandy and that McClain. A birdie way in Hopkinsville, Kentucky was booked in the Montgomery Jail County July the 29th. And she's only a $30,000 bond. That's it. That's all. Damn, I'm going to sit there and lie. I'm going to go use the back, bro. Old ass. The dusters, boy. Leave them old dusters alone, brother. This is your boy Moose. I'm out.